Today we'll be taking a look through PwC's Global Artificial Intelligence Study. Let's get started. The first real takeaway of the report is just how big of a game changer AI is likely to be and how much potential value is up for grabs. As we briefly touched on when discussing the fourth industrial revolution, global GDP could be up to 14% higher in 2030 as a result of AI, according to PwC research. This is the equivalent of an additional $15.7 trillion, making it the biggest commercial opportunity in today's rapidly evolving economy. For some context, this is more than the current GDP of Japan, Germany, India and the UK combined. But what are the main drivers of this immense economic impact? In the near term, the biggest potential economic uplift from AI is likely to come from improved productivity. This includes the automation of routine tasks, augmenting employees' capabilities and freeing them up to focus on more stimulating and higher value adding work. As many of their operational processes are highly susceptible to automation, capital intensive sectors such as manufacturing and transport are likely to see the largest productivity gains from AI. In an increasingly competitive business environment, the impact on productivity could be transformative and the businesses that fail to adapt could find themselves undercut on turnaround times and costs. Therefore, they stand to lose a significant amount of their market share as a result. Over the period from 2017 to 2030, labour productivity improvements are expected to account for over 55% of all GDP gains from AI. Eventually, the GDP uplift from product enhancements and subsequent shifts in consumer demand, behaviour and consumption emanating from AI will overtake the productivity gains, potentially delivering more than $9 trillion of additional GDP in 2030. Consumers will be mostly attracted to higher quality and more personalized products and services. This increased consumption creates a virtuous cycle of more data touch points, and hence more data, better insights, better products, and hence more consumption. The consumer revolution set off by AI opens the way for massive disruption as both established businesses and new entrants drive innovation and develop new business models. AI frontrunners will have the advantage of superior customer insight. The immediate competitive benefits include an improved ability to tap into consumer preferences, tailor the output to match these individual demands and in doing so capture an even bigger slice of the market. Moreover, the frontrunner's ability to shape product developments around this rich supply of consumer data will make it increasingly difficult for slower moving competitors to keep pace. Provided they execute well, it is likely that the frontrunners will have an unassailable advantage. In terms of job losses from automation, the report makes the argument that new jobs will be created by the shifts in productivity and consumer demand emanating from AI and through the value chain of AI itself. In addition to new types of workers who will focus on thinking creatively about how AI can be developed and applied, a new set of personnel will be required to build, maintain, operate and regulate these emerging technologies. All of this, they argue, will facilitate the creation of new jobs that would not have existed in a world without AI. Although I do agree that AI will create new jobs and a differentiated skill set such as creativity will be imperative moving forwards, I think it's quite likely we see a winner-takes-all economy whereby the businesses that win will create new jobs and employ more people, but their competitors will be forced to reduce their workforce dramatically, and overall the trend is likely to be destructive. What kind of challenge is this to the society as we know it? Because we talk about creative destruction. This ain't creative, this is just destruction. When you unemploy so many people so quickly, and you do it globally. As we can see here, some economies have the potential to gain more than others in both absolute and relative terms. China and North America are likely to see the biggest impact. In North America, the potential uplift to GDP from AI will be amplified by the huge opportunities to introduce more productive technologies, many of which are ready to be applied. These gains will be accelerated by the advanced technological and consumer readiness for AI, along with the impact of rapid accumulation of assets, not just technology, but data touch points and the flows of information and customer insight that come with them. In terms of China, the high proportion of Chinese GDP that comes from manufacturing heightens the potential uplift from introducing more productive technologies. It's likely to take some time to build up the technology and expertise needed to implement these capabilities and therefore the GDP boost won't be as rapid as the US. But by 2030, the productivity gains in China could begin to pull ahead. The report then looks at the potential impact of AI on different sectors. It provides scores based on PwC's AI Impact Index evaluation. Potential scores range from 1 to 5, with 5 indicating the highest potential impact due to AI, 
and one being the lowest. Let's take a look at the top three sectors where AI is expected to have the biggest impact. In first place is healthcare, with a score of 3.7. The three areas with the biggest AI potential are detecting small variations from baseline and patient's health data to support diagnosis, early identification of potential pan, Hold up. and imaging diagnostics, i.e. radiology. The benefits here are obvious, faster and more accurate diagnoses, which would allow for earlier intervention and more personalized treatment. In terms of time frame, medical insurance and smarter scheduling is ready to go. In the medium term, data-driven diagnostics and virtual drug development are in the works, Longer term, there could be robot doctors carrying out diagnosis and treatment. A key barrier to overcome is the concern over the privacy and protection of sensitive health data. Also, more advanced applications, i.e. intelligent implants, will take some time to reach their potential and gain acceptance from patients, healthcare providers and regulators. They then touch on a use case with massive potential, database diagnostic support. This involves AI-powered diagnostics, which use the patient's unique history as a baseline against which small deviations flag a possible health condition in need of further investigation and treatment. Although this will be initially adopted as an aid, the accuracy of the AI system will improve over time and long term it could operate autonomously. It's important to note that the global healthcare market is expected to reach $11.9 trillion by 2022, therefore whoever executes well here is likely to be pretty high up on the Forbes list. In second place is the automotive sector, with another score of 3.7. However, it is ranked second as healthcare is further along in terms of adoption in the long term, and it is in the long term technologies where the greatest impact lies. The three areas with the biggest AI potential are autonomous fleets for ride sharing, semi autonomous features such as driver assist, and engine monitoring and predictive autonomous maintenance. The main benefit to consumers would be on-demand flexibility. In terms of time frame, automated driver assistance systems are ready to go. In the medium term, there could be on-demand parts manufacturing and maintenance. Longer term, there is the possibility of engine monitoring and predictive autonomous maintenance. The tech still needs development. For example, it is more challenging to get an autonomous vehicle to perform safely under extreme weather conditions. Even then, it needs to gain consumer trust and regulatory acceptance. Autonomous fleets for ride sharing is the high potential use case here. This would allow people to access the vehicle they need at that point, and it would be more efficient than the current system. In third place is the financial services sector, with a score of 3.3. The three areas of the biggest AI potential are personalized financial planning, fraud detection, and anti-money laundering, and process automation, which would apply to both back office and consumer facing operations. For consumers, this would offer a more customized solution that would be more integrated with the other areas of their life. In terms of time frame, robo advice, automated insurance underwriting, and robotic process automation in areas such as finance and compliance is ready to go. In the medium term, there could be optimized product design based on consumer preferences. Longer term, moving from anticipating what will happen, i.e., predictive analytics, to proactively shaping the outcome, i.e., prescriptive analytics could reduce accident rates or improve consumer outcomes. The main barriers to overcome are consumer trust and regulatory acceptance. Undoubtedly, personalized financial planning is a high potential use case. AI could allow clients to manage their finances dynamically to match their goals. For more compounded valuable content, subscribe and like.